Hey guys, so I'm here to change Savannah and I'm actually going to change her back into this outfit from Carter's. Um, and the reason is because I recently remembered that I had bought this outfit in Grace's size as well. And the other day I dressed Grace in the outfit and I thought it would be fun to have Grace and Savannah matching. So, cause that was the whole reason I did that. So I just thought that would be really cute to do. And so I'm gonna change her and I'm going to answer a tag. And then I will show you Grace and Savannah together being all matchy matchy. So, um, the, the tag is a really like, it's a one question tag. And this is another tag that was by Herlanda of Pooh Bear 253. And like, I forgot to mention that in my previous tag of hers, the crib or shelf tag, I did link to her channel in the description on that video, but I will also link to her channel in the description of this video. Um, oh, this got turned inside out. Um, yeah, so the question that she asked was, do um, haul videos make you want to shop? And I will answer that with a big fat yes. <laughs> honestly, honestly, I I will watch haul. I like watching haul videos um, because I don't really go get out that often to the malls and stuff. And so when I watch haul videos. Um, it'll kind of give me an idea as to what is out there. And so sometimes I will see items, you know, baby clothes or accessories that I'm like, oh, I love that. I need to find it. Now, most of the people I watch on YouTube are not in Canada. <laughs> so a lot of the time the things that they show in the videos we cannot get here in Canada. So a lot of the times I just have to admire those items and go, Oh, I wish we had that here. And that's that. Um, but certain stores like Gymboree or Carter's or Walmart, um, Old Navy, places like that. We do have them here, but we don't get every single um, item that the U.S. gets. So sometimes I'll see, you know, someone will show something that they got at Carter's or they got at Walmart or Gymboree or whatever, and I'll be like, oh, I love that. And I will go check it out at the store and sometimes I'll find it and sometimes I won't. Um, and Carter's has, they now have their own Canadian website. So again, now a lot of times the website has items that I can't find in the actual store, but they still do not have as large of a selection as the stores in the U.S. have. You got something up your nose, Riley? You keep sneezing. <laughs> He's over on the couch giving himself a bath and he must have got some hair up his nose or something. He keeps sneezing. <laughs> That'll happen to him sometimes. Um, yeah, so, you know, sometimes I can find it and sometimes I can't. Same with Jimboree. Now, Jimboree... I can order from the website, which is a U.S. website, but it can get pricey with shipping and with uh, the currency conversion 
and then I usually will have to also pay like a custom duty tax on top of that so that can get pricey even if I shop when there's there's a sale um, so I just kind of have to weigh that out sometimes um, so yeah but definitely um, you know even if we don't have some of those items that people have it will just make me want to go to the mall. Even if it's just to window shop or walk around or whatever. I don't know. It just makes me... Poor Riley. He keeps... I don't know if you guys can hear him in the background. He keeps sneezing. You okay, buddy? He's curling up and trying to go to sleep. <laughs> uh, oh, there's another sneeze. Poor baby. What's up your nose? Huh? Something's making him sneeze. Aw. Sometimes he'll he'll get water up his nose from the fountain and he'll start sneezing, but I don't think he was at the fountain just now. He was just cleaning himself on the couch, so I don't know. Dust probably, because I have not <sighs> I've been bad and I just have not dusted our apartment in a couple of weeks. And the dust is really... I got a dust today. Um, I did the kitchen yesterday. And I got to get some dusting today. I have to do it in... Pieces though. Like, there's no way I can do our entire... Entire apart... I don't even know if I'm... I feel like I'm saying that wrong. I can't do our entire apartment. There we go. In one day. Because otherwise I will pay for it. So I'm thinking today I'm going to try to get our hallway done and the living room done. And then when I'm off on Thursday I can get the bedroom done and the bookcases done. Um, or like the bedroom and the office. Those shelves and stuff. So, yeah, I wouldn't doubt it if he got dust up his nose. <laughs> I just have not been feeling the greatest the last few weeks. I, the fatigue has been quite bad. <laughs> so, I have just been wanting to lay down a lot and sleep a lot. And it's just been hard to get motivated to do housework. So... But I really need to just force myself to do it this week because I can't stand when things are dirty. It drives me up the wall. Um, but yeah, so there's Savannah. She's all ready. And that's the tag. So basically, yes, like I said, uh, haul videos do make me want to shop. And I have... So with that said, as you guys know, my goal this year is to seriously cut back on buying baby clothes or try my best not to buy any more baby clothes at all until I use what I have because I literally have no more space to put baby clothes at this point. Um, so I'm really trying to not buy and use what I have and so because of that I actually have pretty much stopped watching haul videos because I know that when I watch them it's gonna make me want to buy things. Um, I have watched a couple of haul videos here and there when I know that it's um, hauls from places that I can't get the stuff here because I do like to see the different things available in like the UK or like different stores in the US that we don't have here. So I will let myself watch those just to enjoy watching what, you know, and I know that it's not available here, so it's not going to make me want to go out and buy it. Um, but all in all, I've pretty much all to get, I've pretty much stopped watching haul videos. Like I said, I probably have only watched a total of three or four haul videos since January, since the beginning of the year. And other than that, I'm pretty much avoiding them at all costs because 
if I start watching all the haul videos that everyone's putting out, I'm going to want to shop. And it's just, yeah, it's just a lot easier to resist the temptation if I stay away from haul videos, if I don't visit um, the buy and sell area of Dolphin. Um, I am avoiding, you know, looking at like some of my friends on Instagram have posted clothes that they you know had for sale and I just try to really just scroll right past those and not really look at them because otherwise I might be tempted I will admit I did buy one thing though and it was a Jimboree outfit because um it was a piece that I had actually wanted to buy when they had it here but I missed out on it so that one I just, I did, it was only like six bucks. So I was like, okay, just one, it's no big deal. Um, but all in all, I pretty much just am like, psh, 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 scroll past all those clothes that people are selling. Um, so I think I've done really, really well so far. Um, you know, we're going into April and so far, like I said, I've only bought that one item. Um, so I'm actually quite proud of myself for that because um in the past uh in the past I probably would have had a couple of haul, hauls by now um especially with like winter clearance and stuff like that I'd be going crazy on those so I just haven't gone and I think another thing that has helped is the fact that our weather now has been colder it's weird. Usually February is the coldest, snowiest month. It's like the worst month of winter. But for some reason this year, we actually reached like record breaking highs for February, like temperatures that we have never seen in February, um, like pretty much spring temperatures and so there was like a couple days where we had we could just get away with like a light jacket um or no jacket and we were like oh my gosh this is so great we're probably gonna have an early spring now and then March happened March came and now it's like boom we are having February weather in March we are having currently having a snowstorm today and there's tons of snow out there and it I don't think it has stopped snowing yet. So Alex is a little nervous about how long his commute home is going to be tonight. Um, and it's been really, really cold and oh, I don't like it. And so that's kind of made me like want to stay indoors. I don't really want to go out because it's cold and it's wet and snowy. So that's kind of helped me stay away from shopping. So yeah. Um, in two weeks, we will be going to the London, Ontario doll show. We're going to have a dolly weekend. So I will be spending money on the hotel and food. And we are planning to go to Once Upon a Child, um, mainly because Paula and Marilyn want to go there. So I'll just go and look, but I don't plan to buy. And we are not going to go shopping at all the other stores that we went to the last time. Like, like the last time we went to Winners, Carter's, uh, I don't remember where else, but we went, I think Walmart we went to. Um, so we're not going to, we're planning not to go to any of those this time. We just want to have more of a relaxing weekend because originally we were going to go for two nights because we found that the last time was just way too much and we overdid it. Paula and I um and we both have health issues so it was a little bit much but it just worked out that Paula can't really do two nights Marilyn it works out better for her to only go one night and it is a lot cheaper so we've just decided we're just going to cut out all that shopping and we're just going to take it easy we're going to have we'll go to Once Upon a Child we'll have a nice dinner um I think we're going to probably utilize the pool this time because there is a pool and a hot tub that we didn't get to use last time then Sunday we'll go to the show after the show we'll go to lunch and we'll head home so um the only spending I am expecting to do at the doll show is probably buying a couple of American Girl outfits from the seller that I usually buy from when I go 
and that's about it. So I'm doing pretty darn good. So I want to wrap this up. So I'm going to get the two girls together in their matching outfits and I'll be back to show you that and we will sign off. Okay guys, here they are. How cute is that? Oh my gosh. Look how tiny Savannah is beside Grace. That is just too darn cute. Oh my goodness, how adorable. Look at these little babies. Or should I say one little baby and one big baby. Eh? Oh, that is so sweet. I love it. I love it. I guess I probably should have put Savannah in white socks too. Because then they would have matched. Their socks would have matched. But that's okay. I couldn't find her white fuzzy socks. I think maybe another baby is wearing them. And I wanted the fuzzy socks because they fit her really good. But there they are. So yeah, they're, they look so cute. So thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Click that thumbs up button if you did. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you're new. And we'll see you next time. Bye.